Hey, 2023 is wrapping up and you may be thinking about a new home here for 2024. That's right. So today we're going to jump in the spider and show you some of the new home developments around the Merle's Inlet area. It's a beautiful day. You ready to drive around? I'm ready. First stop, Longwood Bluff. It's a Toll Brothers community. This Toll Brothers development has been here for a few years, but this model just opened in 2023, and we decided to go in and take a look. So as you can see, the kitchen, and the gray room are connected and it makes a one large uh, entertainment area. Everybody can hang out. And look at this beautiful pool outside. Back is beautiful. So it's very typical in this area is that the master is on the first floor. And here it is here. And of course, there's a huge wow, look at that shower. bathroom here. Wow. You put a family of four in there. And there was a good size walk-in closet. On the first floor, there are also two other bedrooms with a shared bath and a bonus area upstairs consisting of another den, another bath, and a fourth bedroom. So although the houses in this development are three to four and the model we just saw starts at four, salesperson just told us that uh, as it is now, that model that we just walked through would cost around 700. So um, not cheap. But let's take a drive through the development and uh, show you what the construction process looks like. As you can see, much of Longwood Bluffs has already been built. But the good news is that there are still many lots for sale. And there's plenty of brand new construction taking place. From what I've seen, of all the new developments in Merle's Inlet, this one has the most open land for future development. Now living in Longwood Bluffs, you're part of the Prince Creek community and you have access to a shared community center, complete with walking trails, basketball court, tennis courts, pickleball courts, two community pools, and a playground. The next new development to show you is in the Merle's Inlet area right off of the McDowell shortcut. This one is called Ranch Haven and it's by D.R. Horton. It's not open yet, but should be open in 2024. And as you can see, construction is already underway. Next up is another DR Horton development found at the intersection of 707 and Homestown Road. This is the farm at Timberlake. And although many of the homes have already been built, there are still some new homes available. As you can see, much of the community is already established. But wherever you see blue signs in the front lawn, those are new homes available for purchase. Now just north of Merle's Inlet along Big Block Road, there are some developments going up. One of these is Oysters Bluff. This is also a D.R. Horton community and the homes are a little less expensive than the ones you just saw. There's even a model here so you can go inside and check things out. Now part of the community is already established, but there's a section with a lot of open land 
and where new construction is taking place. Our next stop is the lakes, where building has been going on for many years. But way in the back of this development, you'll find some new construction by D.R. Horton. As we drove around, we noticed that they have an amenity center with a nice pool. And although many streets look finished, there was a lot of new construction going on. And finally, so if you're interested in a condo, check out Marcliffe West. It's in the heart of Blackmore and Prince Creek. Take a look. But before we show you Marcliffe West, let me show you the original Marcliffe. Marcliffe at Blackmore. So Marcliffe at Blackmore was built uh, several years ago. And when I just looked online, resales seem to go into the uh, two range, mid twos and most of them have, from what I can understand, two to three bedrooms. They also have their own community building and pool. So let's head back over across the street to the newest Marklift, Marklift West, and show you what that's all about. Marklift West is much newer. It consists of two-story condo buildings, as well as duplexes. Many units are 14 to 1500 square feet, and some have three bedrooms. And as with many new communities in Merle's Inlet, there's a pool and a clubhouse. Now, if you're looking for new construction, they're working on the final phase right now and many of the homes in the final phase should be ready by 2024. If you're thinking of moving down here, we hope you found this video useful. Oh, and that flowering plant that you saw midway through the video, that's a camellia. They like the bloom in early winter. Until next time, safe travels.